the larger network of terror abroad and how it's impacting major cities here in the U.S. This after yesterday's double suicide bombing in Moscow that left 39 dead and hundreds more injured. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips is in London this morning with the latest. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Jeff. Well, as feared, the death toll in the Moscow bombings is rising. In addition to the latest death from injuries, it's feared authorities say that another five people there are still fighting for their lives. These blasts did take place in Moscow, but they were felt around the world. In Russia, it's a national day of mourning. Flags at half-staff at the Kremlin. Moscow's elaborate metro stations have become shrines to the dead. Commuters gathered in groups to pay their respects. Security was evident in the metro system as well as there are real fears that yesterday's attacks may just be the beginning of a possible wave of terror. That terror has led to heightened concerns in the states. It was full battle dress on the New York transport system and bomb sniffing dogs patrolled metro platforms in Washington, although there has been no announcement of an increased threat level. And while there has not been a train bombing in the U.S., for the roughly 15 million Americans who ride mass transit every day, there is still concern. You got to keep riding. You can't really, uh, you can worry about it, but you can't be too overly concerned. I'm glad that they're giving it the attention it deserves because all you can do is prepare as much as possible. As Prime Minister Vladimir Putin visited the injured in hospitals in Moscow, the Russian leadership again vowed to hunt down and eliminate the terrorists. They're thought to be Islamic militants from Chechnya, whose attacks on Moscow they have been unable to halt. The preliminary investigation still, still points to two women suicide bombers wearing bomb vests, possibly helped by two accomplices. And the thinking is that they may have been members of the so-called Black Widows, groups of uh, Chechen women first formed as the widows of husbands killed by the Russians in the wars there. Maggie? Mark Phillips in London. Mark, thanks for the update. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.